Peace, everybody. This is Thomas Amal with part two of our conversation corner when we were talking about various universal laws. And I, I just so I'm so happy to have this opportunity and to have this information. And hopefully, which and I'm past hopefully, I know this information and the wording that I use will attract and get with you, and you'll be able to take this and ingrain it in your everyday life. So I'm going to get right to it, um, talking about some more laws. I think I have about five or six more, seven more. And the first one I'm going to discuss is law of repetition. Law of repetition, meaning doing it over and over again, and you make it into a habit uh, pattern, just like uh, a habit pattern of thought, which is very similar to hypnotic uh, to that hypnotic pattern, which uh, uh, Napoleon Hill discussed, that hypnotic rhythm, meaning it happens and happens, and if you form good habits, and you make those habits your master. That's something that he said. I thought that was really important. Not Napoleon Hill, but the guy, uh, one of the guys that I've heard uh, mention this. Uh, his saying was, if you form good habits, you make those habits your master. Because if the habits that are good are your master, you will abide by them. And everything that you're looking forward to will come into existence. So here's another one. Law of reflection. I mean, I'm sorry, not reflection. We went that route. Law of relaxation. Law of relaxation. And all mental working effort defeats itself. Mental working effort. So in essence, in the mental world, hard work does not pay. Up here... The harder that we don't try, <laughs> the harder that we don't try, the faster our minds change and become what we want them to become. So when you put so much work into it, you know, because when you, you get rid of that and you, and, you, and you relax, because then you start to have that expectation. You start to believe that whatever you're looking for, whatever you desire is going to come. Within time, you confidently expect it to come in time. So don't work as hard when it comes to thinking. Don't work as hard. It, it doesn't take much. We have the uh, we have what is considered by far the best computer in the world in our human brain. In our human brain, we do not have to work think harder to get what we want. The next one is law of belief. Um, belief, law of belief means is whatever you believe must come into reality. But you have to have a feeling and you have to have a conviction within that belief. Okay? So whatever feeling or belief, I mean, whatever belief you have with feeling, hmm, some intenseness and conviction, that'll come into reality. It must come into reality because it, it ingrains itself within the subconscious mind and it starts working in that order to make it come into fruition. So with that, <laughs> my dog, giant dog just walked by. Um, law of expectation is another one. And what it is, is when you expect something with confidence, it in turn turns into a self-fulfilling prophecy, which law of belief and law of expectation are very similar. Very similar, if not the same. And we have, how about law of concentration? Law of concentration is, is whatever you dwell on, it grows. Similar to uh, fertilization. When you put something in the ground, you water it, you till the earth, everything, it starts to fester. So you've planted that seed. That's what happens when it comes to law of concentration. Law of substitution. What that means is, is the, with the conscious mind, can only think of one thing at a time. It only maintains one subject, one thought at a time. And this is what I was taught. I'm not 100% sure. Obviously, I'm not a doctor when it comes to that. I'm not going in depth and open my mind and follow up that. But the things that I've heard and the people that I've talked to and what I've read and studied, it's all come to the basis that the subconscious mind or the conscious mind can only handle one thought at a time. Okay? So what you do is if that thought is not a positive or growth, or balance or equality or whatever you're looking for, you substitute it with something else. Okay? You substitute it with something else. Because if you don't, negativity, ugliness will almost always win. And I don't understand how that happens, but you think of it like this, the way I was taught was, is you think of it like when you're planting something. You plant flowers. You plant seeds. Um, to grow them, 
you consciously go out of your way to plant them, to water them, to feed them and things like that. But there's also something that comes out of the earth that you don't have to do that. Weeds will come out. Weeds don't need you to plant them. Weeds don't need you to feed them. They'll come on their own. So within the, the, you equate the weeds to bad thinking, to anxiety, to grief, to pain, to anger. You get where I'm going with this? So you have to be smart when it comes to that. And last, uh, I wanted to go to the one that everybody has heard of before, but we have a very strong um, misinterpretation uh, of it or misunderstanding. And that is, of course, the law of attraction, which is extremely important. And the law of attraction means is attract into our lives based on our dominant thoughts. We attract things into our lives based on our, our dominant thoughts and if we want something different, you just change your way of thinking. So in essence, whatever you think about and you put emotion behind it and it is the most dominant thought, that's what is attracting your way. Do you want success? Do you want happiness? All of these things are birthrights. We cause them to go elsewhere. We attract exactly what we have. Everything we have right now is based on our best thinking to this point. That is so hard to under, that is so hard to take to heart. But everything we have now is based on our best thinking. So with that, this is Thomas Amal with Conversation Corner. Uh, please hit my link. Pay attention to a lot more to things that I have and let me know what you think. I, I love talking like this. I love getting information. I love having to go back and forth with you um, at any time. When you join up, you'll see we do it even more so because this is what's most important. It's nothing like having a thinking person around you. And we need to develop that and we need to get more of us. So we, repetition, replication of thinkers, that's what we need today. Thomas Small Conversation Corner. Remember, think first, be smart. Be smart, think first. Peace.